Hey guys, welcome to a video tutorial on how to do a firmware update for your T-Series head unit. First things first, just explaining what's kind of going on in the current setup, certain things you can't see on the screen. Um, so this is just an adapter that allows me with my MacBook to connect to a USB. This is the USB that's supplied with your head unit. There you go, a bit of contrast. So that's just plugged in there. If you have a normal computer with a normal USB port, doesn't matter how it's connected, that's there. And also make sure, I mean, this should be done anyway, but you have, this is a USB that's connected to this head unit. Now these come in your kit and you should definitely connect these. So there's two of these actually. So yeah, first things first, go to the website. This is the main page. If you type thehidia.com.au, that is what will come up on your screen. On this menu, you go downloads on the right here. And if you scroll down, you should see T-Series downloads. Okay, and yeah, it's not really easy to see, but it's quite easy to find. So you go down and you find firmware files. So you press download. T-Series.zip, it's one and a half gigabytes. So while that's downloading, go to your USB and make sure that it has been erased. So this has other stuff on it, okay? So if I go here and I go restore, I'm not sorry, it's not restore, sorry. Erase, erase, and I go name video and make sure, this is the most important part, it says MS-DOS FAT32. That's at the very, very bottom here, it says MS-DOS and then fat. You won't actually say fat 32, but they mean the same thing. So click arrays, well, and then those two things are happening at the same time. Done. All right, so all good. So that has nothing in it now. So if I go to my finder and I click on this, there's nothing. So those things disappeared that were there earlier, which is good. So yeah, so wait for that to download. All right, so once that's downloaded, you'll see tseries.zip in your downloads file. So on a Mac anyway, you go open with archive utility. So you extract the file before you put it into the USB, but you do not put the files in as a folder. So you put them in as just the file themselves. So highlight them all, at least on Mac, you hold shift and then drag. Just transfer all those files into the USB. Once that's done, it'll all be in here. And then we'll get up to the actual unit itself. So the big 1.6 gigabyte file might take a while. So just let it do its thing. Hey guys, just quickly, before you actually do transfer the USB over to your head unit, come to settings. This is just a way to make sure that the actual update's gone through. Go to system, go to software version, and just take note, we'll take a photo of this page. So this software version or operating system version is 2024, March 20th, which is relatively recent. So that's already been updated. So this is after the update, but before it said 2023. So just make sure that it's just a way of knowing basically, but yeah. Okay, so once that download's done, let's do them one by one. So, so this is the upgrade. So just press upgrade, press okay, and just let it sit there and do its thing. And then we'll come back for the next one. So once that update's done, it'll uh, cause the unit to restart. So and that's very, very normal. Sort of updates and then just come into settings. So from home, go to settings, come if you're in general, go to system in the top right, and then you'll see upgrade right here. So once you see this, press MCU upgrade and just let that do its thing. You'll see the red bar moving from left to right if, if it's working. All done. So again, it again, uh, because the USB is plugged in with the other files still, that last two updates. So pop up a bunch of stuff and once it's done, come to home. You're gonna go to file browser, Vahedia, and we've already done that one, we've already done that one. And now you just need to, oh, just let it, it'll do that. That's just because the other one's still, that's, because this update is still trying to do its thing. Um, so just press event center, press install. App installed, press done. And then navi settings.apk, press that as well. That'll install. Oh, it'll keep doing this until it's done. Just no worries. That install. Let it finish, app installed. Just press done and then take your USB out and uh, there you go.